There we go in there. Let's go there. Hi sons, you alright? It's that time again. So we'll start with garlic, onion, chicken, bacon, celery, carrots, little bit of pepper. Where's that bloody butter gone? Oh, there it is. Butter, flour, milk, cheese. Add them all. Oh, I forgot. Cheese and carrots. So first things first, crank that pan low and bang some olive oil in. You can crush the garlic, but I, it bugs me that. So I just top it, tail it, and then just squeeze it a bit, not too much. And then when you squeeze it, Okay, and then chop that. A bit more. In the pan. You know, it's gone everywhere. Next our onion. So next is the celery. Now I don't really like celery, in fact I ate it, but it does give a good uh, flavour to anything that you make. So stick it in there, even though no, you might not like it, it does, I don't know where it does it, but it makes the dish better. Don't know how. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna chop it finely and then we're just gonna, ah! It's a bit fast that, sorry. So chop it quite finely, stick it in. So we've got our onions, garlic and celery all going there. And now what we're going to do is going to put a bit of tarragon in. Tarragon's the key ingredient in this. Good sprinkle of it. A little bit about herbs. So tarragon's got a very light and a seedy kind of flavour. It's like a bit Italian-y. Oregano. You want to taste a bit pizza-y. Oregano. That's got that lovely Italian. Basil's got... You know what basil tastes like. It's just nice. What else is there? Cumin, not cumin. Cumin has got like that smoky, Mexican-y kind of flavour, but you put it in curries as well. Anyway, I'm not going on about that. Sorry. Next, we're cooking the chicken. Rank in it. I'm not going to show a lot of this because it just looks horrible. Needless to say, chicken on the bones always the tastiest. And then it's chicken thighs. I'm using chicken thighs for this. You can use chicken breast if you want, but to be fair, chicken thighs are better and I think they're a little bit cheaper as well they're nicer tasting and the better if you're doing like fajitas chicken breasts probably better because chicken thighs are a little bit you know what I mean so use chicken thighs in like curries that you're gonna cook for a bit like a kind of stew kind of thing or chicken uh, soup or you know things like that Use chicken thighs for that, they're a lot tastier. Now I quite like chicken thighs in my fajitas as well, because I'm not asked about that little bit of a... It's like, a, not hard, I, I don't want to say hard, but it's not as... It can not be as soft as chicken breast. I know what I'm on about and I, I can't put it into words, because sometimes you chuck, cut a chicken breast, breast, and you cook it to that much, that's bloody rock hard and all, so you can't win either way. Anyway, Use chicken thigh fillets, chicken thigh fillets. Use the fillets, don't, obviously the fillets has got no bone in. Use chicken thighs without bone in. <laughs> now once you've chopped all that up, wash your chicken board. If you've got another board, use another board. If you've not got another board, wash your chicken board. Right, we're on this bloody game again, aren't we? Because the fucking microphones are rubbish. Anyway, put some more tarragon in here like I'm doing here, put some more tarragon in and stir right, it. take bastard too, because the same went off again. So more tarragon in at this point, and stir it up and let that chicken cook. Right, put some bacon in as well. I don't know what I'm saying here. Put bacon in, 
you don't have to, but if you put bacon in, it gives you that extra. Oh, what I'm doing here now. Uh, it made me laugh last time because I did a oh, tank top when I was doing thingy voiceover, so I'm doing it again. In. Come on, you twat! Is it working now? Right, it's working now. My battery's running out. I charged it the other day, though, you bastard. Right. Come back closer so I don't let the ball, the ball before. That's sound going. And while the chicken's cooking, uh, we can prepare our other vegetables. Carrots are always good and for a sweetener. Green beans are good as well. Get them chopped up in him. Uh, peppers are good as well, but not too much peppers in this one. I think sometimes peppers can um, take over a little bit in taste and texture. We want more of a country vegetable feel rather than an Italian feel for this recipe, okay? So just a bit of pepper, any pepper. These are like the long sweet ones, but you can put any pepper in. Now I quite like leeks as well. Now you might not like them, but again, you're not, you're not eating, you're not fucking eating a full on plate full of leeks, it's going in something that you'll not taste. Fucking thing, I'm having to stretch down now. Get it stirred up. With all that lovely veg. Get it all cooking together. If you wanted to, you could put some other herbs in here. Won't go too mad. Oregano, just a little sprinkle. What else we have in here? Thyme, date. Don't put thyme, it'll overpower it. Tarragon, put some of that in. Put some more in, shut up. Right. Basil. Nice bit of basil. Not too much, because it's tarragon pie. Chicken tarragon pie. We want that nice flavour to come through of the tarragon. So we want a nice load of veg in this. Like I said on the last one, uh, fucking freezing in here. Look at that. Fucking energy crisis, that. So like I said last, fucking hell. Like I said last time, I don't know who you're cooking for here. So if you're cooking for people who are fussy, getting all that veg in, they'll eat it all as a pie or whatever you're gonna use it. Cause you can use this as pasta filling, you can use it on a jacket, you can put a crust on top of it, which is what I'm gonna to do today, and it makes like a nice crusty pie, soft filling and crust on top. So this would be a sneaky way to get those veggies into people who are a bit fussy about veggies because it just tastes nice and when it all mixes together, it's not like you're eating a plate of leeks all together. I like leeks, but people don't like it. Or carrots, eating a plate of carrots, it's all mixed in and it tastes. Superb. And another way of making it nice and sweet and get veggies into people, sweet corn and peas. Just whack them in. Now, when you cook with peas or sweet corn sometime, you put them into a recipe that like you've thickened the sauce, like hot pot or anything like that, I use in a hot pot, and then it all of a sudden, the peas thin the sauce. I don't know why, maybe it's the water, the ice that's in the peas. Oh, fucking hell, it's boiling that. Frigger. So I'm adding my peas now, because I don't want to make the sauce and then it go all thin. So just be careful when you add peas to something, like paella, which I'll do next time, Dominic. When you add it, it can make the, the sauce watery again. So just be aware of that. Now I put okra in it as well. Okra's a great vegetable to get into people. It doesn't really taste loads of stuff, but it's quite good for you. So I've only got the frozen full okra and uh, I don't want to ruin it. I don't know if I'll be able to chop these friggers up. I've, I've used fresh now before I've got these. Oh yeah, don't put broccoli in and don't put cauliflower in. I'm looking at my picture here, I should be looking at you, sorry. Don't put broccoli in and don't put cauliflower in because it'll overpower the taste. There's probably a way of doing it where you can put it in and it doesn't overpower the taste, but I don't know how to do it, sorry. Now these are the absolute bomb. Um, the stock pots and it's chicken stock or you can get beef stock or whatever, great. I'm gonna use two in here because I'm cooking a lot, a lot for, like I'll be cooking it for me, you, Dom, and my mum and stuff. So um, I'll use two, you only use one because you're not gonna fucking clue what you're doing. So you see it there, see the chicken stock? 
they will melt. So what we want is we want that chicken to cover everything. That's why I'm putting it in at this point. Oh, Tom. We want to get it all coated, all lovely. All with the chicken stock, we've got that lovely tarragon flavour. Put a bit of salt and pepper on, come on lads. Got the old salt and pepper on. Also, we're going to crank this Worcester sauce. Now Worcester sauce is a great ingredient for everything. Uh, it's like Angostura bitters for drinks. This is like Angostura bitters for food. And it brings out loads of flavours. I don't know how it does it. Some weird shit in it, but anyway, get it cranked in. Ooh. I only used one and a half in the end. I chickened out. Ha! Here's where a badass uh, cooking lesson starts, okay? Shit, I've not put the bacon in. I'm sure I've already mentioned bacon in this. Anyway, bacon's good and you can put it in. Anyway, I've made myself laugh last time when I was doing drunk voiceover. So I've got myself tanked up tonight and anyway, Claire's in bed laughing quiet, but I'm doing voiceover. Anyway, this thing you're doing here, people do it different ways. They put butter in and flour and then mix it up. Delia Smith, she puts everything in a pan and whisks it up. But you can do it different ways, not just like that and i'm going to show you what i'm oh, honest to god what are you going on about there's there's different ways of doing it but i'm going to show you how to do it my way and oh just speed it up it's doing me flipping head in this what are you going on about just what shut up right get yourself a big fuck off piece of butter and chuck it in a pan you just want to put a knob in, but I've got a big pan full of tackle, so I've put loads of butter in it. Here we go, coming back with it. Oh, I've just realised there's no sound. Knobhead. Here it comes. Right, are we on? Why yeah. are these batteries stop working? Fuck knows. As you can see, I've chucked a big wedge of butter in. Mine's not a knob, really. Mine's a big wedgie of butter. Obviously, it looks like a shitload of butter, that. But this is a big pan, and I'm cooking for a lot of people. So it, when it works out, it's not really that much. So you can see all the butter's melting. We want it, like your panel might not be as big as mine. So your knob might not be as big as mine. Whereas mine's more of a wedge than a knob. Anyway, so we're covering everything with the butter. Don't have your heat too high, turn it down a little bit. Let's get a close-up of that sound. Is that a bit AMSR? Or is it ASMR? s and I can't remember now. Does that sound a bit weird? Sound a bit weird more. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to dust, dust it all with a bit of flour. Now be careful when you're pouring this in, you don't want any big lumps of it if you can. So like a nice icing on a cake or a bit of a dusting of flour on a cake or sugar or something like that. And then we mix that in. Now the trick is don't put too much flour in because you don't want it tasting floury. Now you see it starting to like stick and congeal a little bit. Sounds awful that, doesn't it? Put another dusting in and then mix that frigger in as well. So you see it's less of a juice now than more like a sticky, I don't know what you call it, what you call it? Like a sticky, sticky, icky, icky. And that's probably all right really, but I'm shitting them a bit because I'm on camera. So I'm going to put a bit, little bit more in, not too much, mix it. So you can see it's sticking together. Sticking together. That is what it's all about. <laughs> So now for the magic. You ready? So put a bit of milk in. See that? And then mix it up. Turn the heat up a little bit, not too much. And can you see what's happened? A bit more milk. So it looks all runny at first, doesn't it? Just like milk at first. And that milk's going to get all the taste of everything that you've done. But you see how it's not, not, not milk now, is it? Bit more milk. Like I said, you'll, you'll probably not have to put as much 
uh, of all of this in because I'm just making a massive pan of it because I'm going to make it enough for you, me and Claire and my mum. As the heat, as the heat heats it up, it turns it into more of a paste or more of a thick kind of something. I don't know. But you've got to keep stirring it. You've got to keep stirring it. So, so anything creamy will burn the pan. So you have to keep stirring it. Look at that creamy goodness. Now you might be thinking, I don't know why I'm talking like that. Sorry. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's it now. That's enough, isn't it, Dad? There's enough creamy goodness in that. But you'd be wrong. You'd be very wrong. Now I'm going to put Red Leicester in, okay? Cheese. Red Leicester cheese. Red Leicester's the best cheese probably in the world, I think. It's great on everything. Mexican, whatever. But it gives a lovely, lovely taste. Um, I'm using grated stuff because I'm, I'm looking at myself again. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I'm just making sure that I'm in tune... In focus because I don't know where I am so I'm using red Leicester cheese okay um, it's the best cheese in the world I think for everything it gives everything a lovely taste it's good with Mexican good with everything on a butty it's beautiful all right um, I'm using the grated stuff because I'm in a massive rush I'm picking Ben up from the airport in a bit so uh, that's why I'm using that but just grated in or used grated whatever and you see how it's white there, okay? What'll start to happen is, so rather than the grey colour of the of the milk, you're getting the lovely colour now. Put the old bloody bag in, for um. Now look at that, it's a lovely, see how it's not, it's not a grey colour anymore, it's a lovely yellow colour. And that's it really, that's all you need to do. Now you can have this on a jacket potato, you can have it as pasta. If you're gonna put it on pasta, put it on tagliatelle, the ribbons. It's nicer like that than any other. I don't know why, I don't know why. Use this one with the ribbons, it's nice. Now what I'd do, I'd get a roll of puff pastry, I'd put it out in a dish, put the puff pastry on top and then bake it in the oven. And that's how I do my pie. It's beautiful, it's a really nice one. This is one of them dishes. Remember, Don, when you went, right, you've got to say a food and the other person's not got to say, oh. And then I said, noosa, kebab and chips and gravy. <laughs> and you went, oh. <laughs> Straight away, it was duel over. I think you thought it was going to be a duel, but I battered you down in the first go. Well, this is one of them. It's absolutely delicious. It's nice. I like it a lot. Okay. Again, the best way of knowing whether it's any good is to give it a try. Okay, I'll start. Combining. It's so good. Got a tooth, Anna. It's really good. <laughs> So lads, how are you? It's a bit of a shit time of year, isn't it? But I think a lot of people feel it this time of year. You know, the feeling of the dark nights coming in and stuff like that. The Dark Knight is a good film, by the way. But, you know, I just want you to know that if you ever don't feel all right, it's all right to not be all right, okay? But just remember, you'll come through it and you'll be all right. And just always remember, I love you. And just think to yourselves, right, you don't need everyone to love you. If you've got enough people, if you've got enough people who you love and respect and they love and respect you, that's enough. You don't need some dickheads talking to you and being shitty with you or whatever like that. But, you know, I think, you know, you two love me. You know, enough people love me who I love and respect. So... You've got to get your love and your self-worth, you know, from that. Obviously, get your own self-worth. You know what I mean? Do you know what I fucking mean? I know what I mean. But, you know, I love you. Dom loves you. Aaron loves you. You know, so enough people who you love and respect love you, then that's good. And that's what you should be asked about. Don't be asked about everybody because people are fucking idiots, aren't they? So fuck them. And you know about fuck them taught you that so all right but i love you i hope you enjoy this recipe and all that remains is for me to deliver it to you see you in a bit
Now, I know I don't normally have people on the show, but there's somebody here who'd like to say a quick word. Hey, Dominic Garen, I just want to let you know, I love you guys, I'm proud of you guys, and what you're becoming. Just know this, don't ever let anyone ever say you can't do it, move forward, never look back. The past is irrelevant to who you are going to be today and tomorrow. Today is the present, and so therefore it's a treasure. That's why it's the present. The future, don't worry about it. It will come when it does, and when it does, you're a Nesmajano, and we're going to be substantial. Just know we are who we are, and we're going to be proud of you no matter who you become. And I love you, and we're looking forward to seeing who you guys become in the future. So just stay true, and don't forget your dreams. I'm proud of you. Big face. Big face. I'm fucking back on with sound. Battery better be alright. Fucking charge them. <clears throat> Sounds so long. Bike hanger stir a bit as. I'm sort of looking at myself, sorry. I'm just making sure that the, the sound's working and that I'm in focus, that's why I'm looking. Mm. Fucking back on you. Right, okay. Suck my attention, lad. I'm not gonna show loads of chicken on VT. Fuck their microphones off. Fucking, they've done me for the last time, the bastards. Well, I'll probably use them again.